All right, uh, much like I said, I do need to send someone out here and take down this guy, like, ASAP. So, uh, Soren can play here with the general, for all I care. And down he goes, that's very nice. And now, I can actually storm the middle area, right here. Uh, I really want Estefan to get the kill on um, the, the warrior, but I suppose Jill can do that with the best girl. Oh, one point short? Like, are you kidding me? Hmm, I suppose uh, she does need some sort of help. Uh, Rolf is not in range, and even the longbow can't help right now. But you know what can help? A little something called Poogie. Well, actually, I think the Poogie might steal the, steal the show completely. And yes, go Iron Lance, because I don't want to consume the Arhamet right now. Plus, he, you're bulky enough to actually take a few hits without uh, flinching too much. Yeah, I can put you here. Uh, I c it's a bad thing that swords don't have a ranged version. Okay, so let me see. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if I do that, I actually need um, to use a, a ranged weapon in order to hit that guy. So I don't really want to risk that now, do I? And I guess I'll pick... I'll pick the steel bow, yeah. Yeah, uh, warriors actually hurt. Not a whole lot, yes, but they kinda do. Okay, so, um, I don't necessarily mean to uh, heal up Jill immediately, as she's quite fine on her own anyway. But I do need to use- oh god, I do need to use the best girl here, yeah. Yeah, because uh, that guy actually had some avoid. And as you know, avoid isn't that pretty. Uh, Stefan doesn't reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He can get in range of the boss, of uh, the mini boss here, but I don't want him to. At least not yet. Oscar might actually be able to take a hit, two hits from this guy out. Uh, 12 damage would be at the most. Not complaining. And yeah, you can you can go die. What? Oscar, don't do that to me. Like, seriously, don't. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. One, two, three, four, five. So I will have to put Stefan right here just in case. And he has a javelin, of course. I'll, I'll make sure at least that Mist will not be in range, thank you very much. Also, Mist now actually has some incredible range. Uh, I'm not gonna heal this turn. My units are um, still high enough to survive. Uh, items, you can keep the Steel Blade, yeah sure. Uh, Nefni, you move in. Ideally, I would like Marsha to move in this direction and take down um, these mages immediately. That's what I usually do anyway. So let's do that. Marsha. <sighs> I hate it when you have like an uh, 80 to 90% and you miss. It's not even all that funny at this point. But, uh... Oh, wow. The mage has more magic than the sage. So they will deal, like, 8 damage to her. All things considered, I think it's a pretty sweet deal. Also, I can dance for Ike and Nefni, so that's, uh, that's nice. And... I think I might actually do that, because... I mean, I can always da dance for Marsha if I want to, but it would be better if I dance for two units instead of one. You know, more effective, uh, more cost effective, you know. Why having one more unit move when you can have two? That's a thing. Come on. 
Thank you. You see, Marsha, that's how you hit. And just because I don't want to risk it, you're gonna die. Oh, wait a minute. I would I would use the armor slayer only for the extra hit. But 99, I assume you will hit twice, will you? And he did. And he, he proc'd ether, no less. Okay, so Rolf and the Volki, it's time for you to move out fast. Okay, let's see how this turn goes. It's probably not gonna go... Oh, snap. <sighs> and Ike is now asleep. I can only do one of two things. Get close enough to use the um, Restore Staff with Mist, or wait five turns, which is something I cannot afford myself to do. Which is why I'll make sure to use um, Raisin's Dance effectively, so that I will be able to wake up Ike. Alright, Oscar. For us, there is no tomorrow. We cannot be beaten, nor we can withdraw. We must defeat the Crimean army and bring his majesty back to us. And Brave Lance, he attacked twice. What the heck is wrong with you guys? Although, that's a sweet damage. For a non-effective weapon. Now, as you can see, Ike is going to stay asleep for four more turns, and that's something I really don't want. So, I'll use my units to actually clear up uh, these guys. Wish I could steal that Brave Lance, but we will get one soon enough. Actually, what I really, really, really want to do... Take a, a wild guess. Sure, Oscar might get... Uh, that general will get a free hit on him, but... It's not like I really care. Jill and the others can easily uh, defeat the mini-boss and that other armor knight. Skill speed defense resistance. Alright. Doing pretty good, Oscar, my boy. And 24... Oh, he has cap defense. Nice. 24, 21, yeah, 3 damage, like, it's pathetic. And no one else is in range, so Oscar is relatively safe. Alright, so, uh, how do I want to approach this? Let's see, um, I'll give the mini boss kill to Jill, of course. Uh, Steelax? Alright, best girl. Dead. I cannot stop your march. But we are not yet defeated. General Anna, protect the capital. And down the mini boss goes. And that's a level for Jill. Let's see. HP, strength, speed, defense. The four stats she actually likes the most. I like. And I suppose Jill can go um can go here and give Oscar some support. I suppose that's for the best. As for you, I can always have Astrid kill you. Hmm, she wouldn't need a crit, though. I suppose it can happen, of course. Yeah. Poogie Poogie. Come on. Come on. Oh, well. I suppose, in the end, that's a kill for uh, for Rolf. Fine, you can have it. You can have it, Rolfy boy. Uh, Kirbo, yeah. Kirbo, 54 crit, plus adept. Crazy. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use a uh, physics staff in order to, um, let's see, heal up uh, Oscar. Because he's actually... Pretty injured. Then I will use Raisin to dance for both Mist and Astrid. Then I can always actually do this. Move Marsha. Um, no, well, it's not gonna matter because if one of my unit is flying inside the on the water, well, uh, it doesn't count as one tile. It counts as two for some godforsaken reason. I will, however, start to draw out this mage. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll put Marsha like here. 
she's out of range of this guy, but she's in range of this one. And that's really ultimately what I wanted. So, yeah, uh, Ray Sun! So I can actually use the Restore Staff to wake up Ike immediately. Otherwise, he's going to get stuck for uh, four turns here, and I really don't want that. Uh, no, I don't want to attack. I want to restore. Thank you. And I think Nefni or Kieran can take that soldier. I almost forgot. I kind of forgot he was there. Like, seriously. Uh, Mist, you can go here. And I think this is a kill for, um, for Nefni, yeah. Down he goes. Now, Marsha is in range of the mage. So, I would put someone else, like Kieran, in range of the Armor Knight. Pretty easy, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, I can take the Killer Axe for this one. Now, what are we gonna find behind door number two? A Sage. That's a job for Stefan, hands down. The 1% crit, though. Uh, Vague Cutty? Yeah, let's see the Vague Cutty in action. 60% crit and he doesn't crit. Like, why? Now, he crits now. Called it. They always crit on the second hit, like, why? And I suppose we can actually have Astrid um, take care of this fella right here. Yeah, she still needs a crit. Okay, so it's most likely that Oscar will get attacked. Because he has a bow equipped. HP magic sk I didn't give you lances. Just so you know. Put her here so that Jill is actually safe. No, this guy has a javelin, but he will attack it in melee with the steel lance, of course. Then I'll simply move Ike here. And who am I forgetting? Oh, Soren, I actually forgot you down here. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I almost forgot you there. Oh, of course, the sleep. This guy moves. Ugh. All right. Okay, so I've literally said goodbye to stealing uh, sleep stays. Well, actually, that was never my intention. But I will try to make him burn the sleep staff. I'll keep a uh, mist in range of um, of someone who can actually be restored, and they will try to go for physical units for the most part. Nice one, Kieran. So I'm not too concerned about her getting sleeped. Plus, she has a lot of resistance. They do try to aim for people that have low resistance, and lo and behold, we have reinforcements here. It's a good thing that we decided to book it as fast as we could. So, what's that not behind chest number three? We have... An energy drop! Perfect! I actually wanted one of those. So, um... I'm not sure I want to dance for a Volky in this turn. He will catch up somehow. However, one thing I do want to do is actually meet with these reinforcements because before they actually come uh, too close behind me. And I think I will send Stefan down here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, that was pretty strong. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, it's, of course, he cannot um, canto away, so... For, uh, why can't I dance sing here? Well, I can do that here. Rayson will be able to catch up um, in a couple of turns, so it's not really that big of a deal. HP skill speed, all right. Works for me, I guess. All right, uh, Rolf, you join uh, the Vanguard here. And get another kill now, will you? If he doesn't crit now, I'm gonna be mad. There, Stefan, that's how you crit with the Vekati on the first strike. Alright, so I do need to consider that this guy has magic divided by 2, that's gonna be a range of 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
So Marsha is the only one right now that is in a sleep staff range. And let's... Let's make sure that stays that way. Uh, no, I do want to attack from here with the Iron Sword. Thank you! There will be reinforcements aplenty, of that I am certain. I'll put Mist right here, and I know he'll still go for Marsha because 15 resistance versus 20. You know, better chances. Although I will try to give him some more um, targets to shoot at. And there's a longbow dude right there. However, I do want to stay out of range of those guys because I know for a fact that... I actually think it's that way anyway. That if you are asleep, you actually lose um, some hit chance, so yeah. Also, at this point, I do think I want to break down the door. But I don't know. Uh, they have 80 HP. Those are going to be tough to bring down. But weren't they weak to access? I actually don't remember. Well, not really, I guess. Did uh, she have 39 attack? No, those are weak to uh, access. That's nice to, to hear. And this door is this room is actually empty, so I don't need to worry myself with uh, guarding it. Uh, who am I forgetting? Stefan, of course. You go down here and make your way to play with uh, your newly found friends. Okay, so he goes for Kieran. Apparently he's the guy with the lowest resistance right here. And I think he has only one more uses. Uh, one more use of the sleep stuff. Oh snap! I do need reinforcements back here, and I do need, need them immediately. Alright, changing plans. Uh, Stefan will stay here and play. Uh, Rayson needs to book it, like yesterday, because uh, his transformation gauge is about to run out. Uh, I can do this. I can actually dance for Volky! Yay! Next turn, I'll simply uh, choke down a... Another Lagoo Stone. I should be able to stay transform until the end of the um, of the fight. Okay, so now the group is all, almost all ca caught up. Uh, restore staff on Kieran. There you go. There you go, buddy. Feeling better? Also, uh, yeah, he only has one more use. So uh, this guy doesn't deal a lot of damage, even if he crits. If I can. I can actually put Kieran here, and he would not be uh, phased by, um... No, not missed, of course. He would definitely not be phased by uh, these two. Maybe the Elf Thunder Mage, yes. It actually deal a good chunk of damage, but... Otherwise, it's not really anything special. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to heal up uh, Marsha. Do want to be careful, after all. And I'm taking this small opportunity to actually break down the door. 42, wow. Doors don't like axes in this game. I actually forgot that was the case. And we do have enemies here. Oh, goody. Uh, let's see, Lagoon Slayer, Steel Sword, Iron Blade, and Steel Sword, of course. Uh, nothing really too dangerous, per se. But Oscar can go here and play. Come on, guys. I'm friendly. Come and play with me. You're all gonna die. <laughs> They're all gonna die. That's really the fun part in all this. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll stay here so you all three can attack me all at once. Wish I could fly inside this do this room, but it's not gonna happen. There are going to be reinforcements popping out from this these stairs. That I do remember. Oh, and there are more chests here. So a lot more chests than I remembered. Also, I think that uh, some thieves or other reinforcements anyway spawn from here. Also, this might actually be another thir three parts. Not really sure. Alright, so here's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to equip the hand axe and I'm going to chuck down a vulnerary. The sleep staff mage will definitely go for Kieran. Uh, yes, I am aware. I'm actually going to put him here because the mage reaches there. Yes. 
at least this way I know for a fact. Also, wait. Um, 15 defense, 17 attack. Yeah, I can actually put Marsha here, and it's gonna be completely fine. And I will start to send Ike and Nafni down here just in case, because I know there will be reinforcements. Okay, uh, now now he goes for Nefni. Alright, um, that's gonna hurt. Ouch. But I do think Kieran doubles this guy. Yep. Yep, he does. Now, either Kieran or Marsha will be attacked and they cannot retaliate. Now, full guard. Not that it would matter, really. Okay, so will Stefan be able to kill them all? Also, I need to be careful because he actually... Oh, that was Astra. Sweet animations. Need to be careful because Stefan actually um, was a little injured. Ooh. Uh, this is not too good. Come on, dodge, dodge, dodge. Damn it. Well, we lost another one. Well, another one goes down. So long, Vay Cuddy. Well, I have to be fair. I have to be uh, fair. I'm actually not too uh, sad that I lost uh, Stefan. Because his replacement would have been Janaf. And Janaf, that would have uh, really been bad if I lost him. I'm not gonna lie. So in the end, losing Stefan doesn't really uh, bring tears to my eyes. But that uh, does mean that I need to send someone behind in order to um, in order to counter reinforcements that are coming from behind.